A few years ago, I met up with a young high school grad who decided to change her looks through plastic surgery. And here's her story. Everything seems to focus on the body. Teenagers bombarded by sexy images, stress over figures they think are less than perfect. That's probably why more teens are reshaping their bodies with surgery. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons says adults see plastic surgery as a way to stand out from the crowd, while teens view it as a way to fit in. I know I'm not fat or anything like that, but I just, if there's a way of getting my body better, why not do it? We talked to Bergen Hammond over the summer before she went off to college. She planned her new look from head to hip. There's nothing anybody can do to change my mind. I've had so many people trying to say, you know, why would you get that? You're perfect the way you are. Or, you know, I mean, do you know the effects they can have? And I, I know, I know everything, and I'm, I've thought about it for a long time. Some of the images that they're seeing of perfection are really doctored images and, and not even true images, let alone true images of something that, that they could be or should aspire to. I am a little nervous, but I'm really excited. But many still insist on tweaking their looks. This is the fatty prominence right in through here. Bergen got breast implants, lower and upper lip implants from cadaver tissue. It's easily uh, sectionable and liposuction of the stomach, hips, and buttocks. It may seem extreme for someone so slender and beautiful to begin with, but she does have her mom's support. Now they're out buying new clothes for her new figure. Bergen has heard plenty of criticism among the compliments. I've caught probably more people saying, you know, why did you do that? But. It's really not, it's not their body, you know, it's, I'm doing this for me, I'm not doing this for them. Dr. Franklin Rose says he feels comfortable operating on teens when his patients have the right state of mind like Bergen. But we do many, many patients post high school on the way to college or sometimes in the middle of high school. And if you screen these patients carefully and make sure that they're suitable candidates, uh, well adjusted emotionally, these patients for years have done very, very well. Most of Bergen's friends got their breast implants in high school. Now another is consulting with her plastic surgeon. At first I was like, why is she getting this? She's so pretty. And then I saw her and was really, really surprised. And. Now I want it. <laughs> Dr. Sargent believes parents and role models can influence teens to think beyond their looks. I think, I think that what parents really need to do is to make sure that they value each child as they are, as best as they can, uh, make sure that each child has opportunities to excel, to be successful, to be competent, make sure that each child feels, you know, a focus of attention that's unique and emphasizes their strengths. So what causes poor body image for a young woman? You know, we see it, like Bergen said, she, mm -hmm. everyone tells her, you're beautiful, why would right. you do that? But we see that more and more, and teen plastic surgery is really on the rise. That's right. And you know, Melissa, nobody comes into the world with a poor body image. Mm -hmm. In other words, your body image is formed by your parents, those closest to you, by your good friends, and by the media. And what happens is when you start comparing yourself, let's say you grow up in a family that that the mom and dad are very much into looks and they promote that sort of thing, it's no wonder you're going to be like that too. Or if they're critical, mm -hmm. if that's what they judge you, especially a girl by. When you're saying that when they focus on that, is that even saying, oh, you're so cute, oh, you're so handsome, you're so pretty, even something like that would be negative? You need to not focus on looks? I think not focusing on looks and doing things like saying, you know, really focusing on what a child's interested in, mm -hmm. what their skills are like I love the way you talk to her you made her feel so good or the way you understand people is so mm -hmm. incredible parents who don't do that who focus on how the child look you're getting chubby you know your hair would look better if it was lighter mm -hmm. you need to get your ears tacked back your ears stick out even if they think they're lovingly teasing the child children are very sensitive oh, to that sure. and certainly parents need to watch out if there are any family members who Absolutely. Or, or if you see friends making fun of them because those things we only remember the bad 
bad things that people say. It seems like we never remember the positive things that people say about exactly. us. Exactly. I met a woman in my office yesterday who suffers from a morbid obesity. It began in the fifth grade when a, she was walking around the track in a PE class and a boy behind her said to her, uh, this person is the fattest person in the school. Oh. She never forgave it, forgot it, mm. never forgave it.